you guys doing? Micah Cannon, your host. Per usual, there are a lot of things going on in the sports world. One thing I want to talk about are the New York Knicks acquiring Miguel Bridges, or Mikel Bridges, in a blockbuster trade. Now, the Knicks have started this offseason bold, very bold. They acquired Mikel Bridges for a haul of draft picks. They gave the Nets four unprotected picks, 2027, 2029, 2031, and I think the other one was in like 2028, 2027 as well. Uh, they gave them a protected first round pick on top of that, a 2028 pick swap, and a 2025 second round pick. All of that for Mikel Bridges in a second. Guys, that is a lot. Now, the Knicks have decided that essentially they're going to compete right now. They're saying, hey, this is our team. This is what we want. They have Bridges, Hart. Brunson, DiVincenzo, Randall, and they still need to sign OG Ananobi, which seems like they want to. So I believe it's going to end up being good for the Knicks. Now, do I think the Knicks are now the team to beat in the Eastern Conference? Huh. No, they're not. They are not. Not yet. But I do think their defense is going to be outstanding, and I think their offense is going to be really, really good. They have everything it takes to compete at a high level. Now, as the Knicks, you're basically saying for the next three to five years, this is your team. You have no picks, very little assets. The Knicks took a major risk. In my opinion, they were a little fleeced. I thought they were rather fleeced. That's what I thought. I think the New York Knicks got secretly robbed, or there's a chance that they got secretly robbed on their home turf. I said yesterday on TikTok, we need to report a robbery in Manhattan at the Madison Square Garden because the Knicks were just robbed. They took a major risk, but it could not. It could work out. You never know. Greatness has never come without risk. I hope it works out for the Knicks, but as far as the Nets are, they are golden. The Nets are completely fantastic right now. This was a great trade for them. They have a ton of draft stock and even traded with Houston a couple minutes later to get their real 2026 pick back that they gave away in the James Harden trade, which is absolute genius. Now you're guaranteeing that your pick is going to be good. You don't have to rely on another team to be bad. You're guaranteeing that this pick is going to be good. Now you can properly rebuild. Now you can honestly rebuild your team. See, what this shows me is that the Nets... They learned from the mistake they made 10 years ago with the Boston Celtics. They took KG, um, Paul Pierce, and uh, it was Jason Terry. Took those three guys, gave away all of their picks, and ended up being terrible because those picks were the catalyst for Boston winning a championship this year. So they definitely learned from that. I really, really love the fact that they have their picks back. They have their stock. Now, as a Nets franchise, you can effectively tank. You can effectively tank. You can be bad. You can get good picks. You need to have direction as a team in the NBA. The worst team or the worst type of team to be in the NBA is a team with zero direction. Zero. Hi, my Atlanta Hawks right now. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, you either have to be bad, tanking, or you either have to be good, competing for a title. Anything in between is bad anything if you're 42 and 40 every single season you're not good enough to compete but you're not bad enough to rebuild i don't like that i'm glad that the nets now have some direction i'm glad that the knicks have some direction granted there are two totally different directions the knicks are saying we're competing for a title we are are we are guaranteeing we want to guarantee this team being at the top of the Eastern standings and uh, competing at the top of the East for the next couple years. And the Nets, they're saying, we are going to honestly rebuild. This whole Kevin Durant thing with Kyrie and Harden didn't work out. This whole Mikel Bridges superstar thing didn't work out. We're going to rebuild. Great approach from both teams. I think both teams ultimately won the trade, but this could end up being a fleece, a fleece for the Nets. Absolute fleece.